Welcome back and we're just a couple of days from the launch and it seems like AMD's Ryzen 5 5600X 6 core desktop CPU has already been benchmarked within Cinebench R15 and it looks like the competition is going to be put down and for quite some time. The numbers were posted by none other than Tomb Apisak himself over on Twitter and show the multi-threading performance of AMD's mainstream and 6 core processor which launches this week in just two days. The benchmark shows that the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, which is running at an overclock speed of 4.7 GHz across all of its six cores, posted a score of 2,040 points and multi-threaded and 258 points in the single-threaded test. This test was performed running DDR4 memory at 3200 CL14 timings with an ASUS ROG Crosshair 8 Hero motherboard. The voltage was set to 1.256 volts for this test run, which wasn't terrible. And for comparison, using a non-text numbers, the Intel Core i5-10600K scores 1,426 points in multi-threaded and 206 points in single-threaded. The AMD Ryzen 7 3700X scores 2,112 points in multi and 204 points in the single threaded benchmarks. While the Core i7 10700K posts 2,005 points in multi threaded score and a single score of 217 points. Meanwhile, the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X scores 1,000. 639 points in multi and 210 points in the single threaded test. Now based on these benchmark numbers, the AMD Ryzen 5 5600 is 42% faster in multi-threaded and 25% faster in single-threaded performance than the Intel Core i5-10600K, which runs at a faster clock and features a higher TDP of 125 watts versus AMD's 65 watt TDP. The AMD Ryzen 5 5600X is also up to 25% faster in multi-threaded and 22% faster in single core threaded versus its predecessor, the Ryzen 5 3600XT. The CPU also comes in faster than the i7-10700K, which is an 8-core processor, while the Ryzen 7 3700X has a slight lead over it still. Now jumping over to Cinebench R20 performance, scores which have been also leaked, the original source is Jumper18 over at the LTT forums, the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X scores 4,746 points in multi-threaded and 609 points in single-threaded test. The single-core test, the Intel i7-10700K scores 518 points, the 10600K scores 498, while the Ryzen 7 3700X scores 509 points, and last but not least, the Ryzen 5 3600XT scores 521 points. In multi-threaded test, the 10700K scores 4870 points, the 10600K scores 3570 points, and the Ryzen 7 3700X scores 4,836 points, and again, the Ryzen 5 3600 XT scores 3,719 points. Here, the 5600X is 33% faster than the i5-10600K and 27% faster than the Ryzen 5 3600X in multi-core threaded while coming in really close to that i7-10700K and the 3700X. The same goes for the single-threaded test where the 5600X leads all other processors in terms of overall performance. Now the CPU was overclocked to 4.95 GHz on standard air cooling and that managed to score 272 points in the single core test of Cinebench R15 which puts it 32% ahead of the Core i5-10600K and 30% ahead of the 3600X. Now in addition to that, AMD's Ryzen 5 5600X has already been overclocked to 6.12 GHz on LN2 cooling by a renowned overclocker, Lucky Noob. The validation was submitted and caught by two Mapisac, but has now been removed. The Ryzen 5 5600X is already coming out faster than Intel's entire 10th generation lineup in Passmark single-threaded CPU test, and this is just a stunning performance, what was presumed to be an expensive $299 US chip with just 6 cores and 12 threads. And we can't wait to see what the chip in action and final reviews in that come in just, well, a few days from now. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.